Turkey is holding both presidential and parliamentary elections on May 14. On voting day, millions will cast their ballots to choose not only the country's next president, but also members of the parliament from each electoral district. So how are these two elections conducted in Turkey? In the presidential election, there is a two-round voting system. To secure the country's top job as president, a candidate has to win more than 50% of the nationwide votes in the first round. But if no candidate can secure a majority, the winner is decided in a runoff between the two most voted for candidates from the first ballot. The second round of voting is then held on the second Sunday following the first ballot. So if this year's presidential election heads to a runoff, the second round of voting will be held on May 28. In order to be eligible as a presidential candidate, one must be a Turkish citizen, at least 40 years old, and hold a higher education degree in any field. Any political party that has passed 5% of the threshold vote in the previous parliamentary election can nominate a candidate. Parties can also form a coalition and jointly nominate a candidate. Then there are the independent candidates who are eligible to contest if they collect 100,000 signatures from registered voters. Nominees can have their names, party affiliations and photographs placed on the presidential election ballot. Following this, voters stamp yes on their preferred candidate. May 14 will also be the day voters will choose their parliamentary representatives. There are 600 members of parliament in the Turkish Grand National Assembly, who represent 87 electoral districts in 81 Turkish provinces. To obtain a majority, a party must win more than 300 parliamentary seats. To be eligible for parliamentary seats, parties must secure 7% of the valid nationwide votes, on their own or in alliance with other parties. But this threshold is not applicable to independent candidates. On polling day, voters will mark yes on the ballots containing the names and symbols of the parties they wish to vote for among those competing in the elections. But in the event that there is a pre-poll tie-up, the name of the alliance will be included on the ballot sheet. Finally, the counting of votes is done through a mathematical formula known as the Dont method. The method ensures that parties are allocated seats proportionately to the number of votes they receive. After all the votes are counted, the Supreme Electoral Council of Turkey announces the results nationally. 